If you're subscribed to this YouTube channel, you've probably tried to make a first-person game in Game Maker at least once, and if you've tried to make a first-person game in Game Maker at least once, then you have probably seen code that looks something like this before. And this is pretty bog-standard Game Maker first-person mouse look code. You get how far the mouse is from the center of the screen horizontally, you get how far the mouse is from the center of the screen vertically, you do a little bit of math, and then you reset the mouse to the center of the screen. This is basically the same first-person mouse look code that Game Maker users have been using since, like, Game Maker 7. So it gets the job done. It's not the best. If we're being honest with ourselves, it's kind of a pain to add this sort of thing to every single Game Maker project that you create, but ultimately, it's not that many lines of code. It does have some other shortcomings, most notably that it won't really work in HTML5 or the Opera GX Game Maker uh, export targets, at least not without using an extension. But starting in the August of 2023, Game Maker betas. Game Maker has, believe it or not, uh, added a set of features that will do this for us. And those, uh, the new functions that have been added are called uh, window mouse set locked, window mouse, uh, there's a get locked to go along with it, window mouse get delta x, and window mouse get delta y. So let's talk about these. So window mouse set locked and window mouse get locked will just lock the cursor to the middle of your screen. Window mouse set locked and window mouse get locked, those are part of the uh, the Windows API, and if they've been there a long time actually, and if you were writing your own like 3D rendering engine for a first person game, you would basically do this. You wouldn't do the you know the game maker thing of uh, manually figuring out how to put the mouse in the center of the screen. And Game Maker has uh, basically finally exposed that behavior to us. It's very nice. And it also will work on the other desktop platforms, uh, by the way. So this is not just a Windows thing. And window mouse get delta x, window mouse get delta y. Uh, if you uh, ever heard the word delta in like math and physics terms before, uh, you probably know what that is. That is just going to return how far the mouse has moved per frame. And if you lock the mouse to the center of the screen, you can use that to... Uh, basically do this calculation without, once again, having to manually figure out how far the mouse has moved from the center of the screen. So I'm going to go into one of these old first-person demos, and I'm going to get rid of all of, um... Did I delete the wrong line? Uh, I'm going to get rid of all of the... the code that I had doing this the manual way, and I'm going to, uh... I'm going to convert it over to the new way. And this won't take long, um, by the way, before I do that, I do want to show off, uh, if you were to run this in a browser, I'm gonna go with OGX because, honestly, I don't feel like dealing with HTML5's weirdness. Um, but if you were to run this in a browser, uh, mouse, mouse lock wouldn't work. Um, we're just going to basically be, uh, spinning out of control because we're still calculating the mouse delta, but we're not snapping the mouse to the center of the screen. And that's, uh, yeah, that's a bit headache-inducing. Let's not do that for too long. Um, but I will show off at the end that, uh, with this new system, uh, locking the mouse to the center of the screen will work in Opera GX, so if you want to make an FPS and throw it on OGX, then, uh, it's, that's now a thing you can do. HTML5, make a first-person game in HTML5, throw that on itch or Newgrounds or something. So, window, uh, mouse, set locked. I probably don't have to explain how this function works, I'm gonna set that to true. Um, I'm going to go into uh, the step event for the player, and where I say uh, window mouse get x minus window get width divided by 2, I'm just going to replace this with window mouse get delta x, and likewise window mouse get delta y. So, somewhat less math, I can get rid of window mouse set uh, down there entirely, because the mouse lock uh, the, the native mouse lock will take care of that. I no longer have to do it. Uh, let's run this in uh, Windows for now, and I'll go back. To, I'll go back to OGX at the end of the video. Um, oh yeah, that's another thing. Um, instead of my own mouse lock variable, I can say window mouse get locked. And I guess uh, down here at the end, since uh, you can use the tab key to release mouse lock, window mouse set locked, and we can just toggle the value of window mouse get locked. Don't have to keep track of that myself anymore. Hit the tab key, mouse lock will be released. Uh, so I can now... I can now walk around in first person, I can look around, and I've reduced like three lines of code from my, uh, my initial version of this. Um, I 
I don't know this for sure, but I feel like sensitivity um, with this built-in mouse delta system is a little bit lower than what I had it uh, when I was just doing it myself. So you may need to tweak these sensitivity values if you find that like moving the mouse suddenly doesn't make you rotate as far as you used to. Uh, other than that, tab to release the mouse. Uh, you can use that to do all kinds of things. Click on the game, click out of the game. Uh, tab will uh, capture the mouse once it's been released. You can go back to looking around in first person. And uh, all is well in the world. That's really all there is to it. If I were to go back to, um, to Opera GX and run this now, you will see that uh, this game is actually going to work in first person. I might have to click into the window. Yeah, I have to click into the window before it'll uh, actually capture the cursor. That's just a browser thing. And we now have a first person game running in a browser. That's pretty cool. Uh, not something that was really easily done before. Although again, if you wanted to wrangle HTML5 extensions, you sort of could do it. Okay. So that's really it. If there's one thing that I might uh, request uh, from Game Maker on top of this is uh, a built-in like sensitivity setting. So window mouse, uh, for example, set sensitivity or something, and that will uh, affect the uh, the look sensitivity of of the mouse delta x delta y. Uh, you could even have it separate separate values for it on different axes if you want, and that would just uh, make it somewhat easier to like adjust uh, how much your uh, your player will move when you when you flick the mouse. I might do that right after I record this, actually. But other than that, uh, my name is Michael. I like Wizards and Dragons and making games. I try to post about two game dev videos a week. So if learning about the weirder things you can do in Game Maker, such as making first person games and running them in a browser appeals to you, feel free to subscribe. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute to the channel, links to that can be found in all the usual places. Otherwise, I hope you find this interesting and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Zenjamin, Vitro V, Square Crow, Syndra Larson, Manta Ray, Game Maker, Edward Holt, DJ Gibbles, and Army Armbuster for supporting these videos. If you want to contribute to the channel, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.